Go. Junior Alan Ortega says he can't wait to start playing in the Green Bay East High School Institute of Fine Arts this fall. The Fine Arts Institute would give me a chance for just about anything musical. It's the third year of the intense program. Students take on rigorous private instruction and music theory as elective courses, submitting portfolios and performances several times a year. It gave me lots of opportunities. Very good. Opportunities that alumni say didn't exist a few years back when this school's music program was struggling to survive. Professional violinist Cassia Franz says her family jump-started more community involvement around seven years ago. I actually went to high school here and uh, was involved in the orchestra program here and then my mother actually came to a concert and she was appalled that there was no grand piano and she said well, we have to get this school a grand piano. And the words were no sooner out of her mouth than she had raised uh, it was about, I think it was over $40,000 uh, privately from donors. This piano is where it all began. It was donated in 2007, and since then, community members have continued to get involved, donating up to a million dollars worth of cash and equipment to help this program succeed. The district budgeted $200,000 for the program last year. Retired Principal Ed Dorf said that included hiring Lucinda Roberts as program director, as well as purchasing a new sound system for the auditorium. Roberts says no taxpayer dollars went towards private instruction last year. All scholarships for more than 30 students in that program were community-based. I would say 90% of them were on scholarship, some form of scholarship. Probably out of the students, at least half of them would never have gotten private lessons. They would not have been able to afford private lessons had they not received the scholarship assistance. Because it's so expensive and it's hard to find a teacher. At a school where truancy rates have been high, staff say the Arts Institute keeps kids focused. We know that our kids who are involved in the arts have at least a, a full grade point GPA higher than kids who are not. Ever since I joined choir and orchestra, those two, just those two classes just bring me back every single day, even if I have to go through my boring old classes that I need. This year, the Institute will expand to include visual arts like painting, sculpting, and design. Robert says she hopes dance and musical theater will soon follow. Students say they look forward to the expansion. And I'm so proud of that, and I just hope that it just keeps coming back, that talent and music, beautiful music keeps coming back to East. In Green Bay, Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. It's a metaphorical self-portrait. Um, this is a cast of...